Hell no. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. It's going to be tough for Tory regardless. I feel bad for him. But, you know, you know, for us men, and I know I have a lot of younger listeners, when you are dealing with a woman and if she starts to get belligerent, if that's what happened, by the way, I do not know for a fact. Because I, I think, you know, Adam has said something. I think they were getting on Adam a little bit for really saying that Meg was, like, aggressive at first. Um, I don't want to, you know, I do know certain stuff, but it's neither my place to speak on it without me knowing the full story and knowing it for a fact. Because, like, I've heard contradicting shit and I feel like people are trying to put out propaganda. I feel like some people are trying to make Meg seem like this big angry chick. People who are in the know and some people that want to make it seem like Tory is just this short midget maniac who can't handle a height joke. Like he's dealt with height jokes and fucking balding jokes all his fucking life. He could deal with it. You feel me? Like if I was in a, if I was in that situation, you, you know what you, you know what the fucking narrative would have been? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, man. And Meg the Stallion she fucking slapped the shit out of the academics and she 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 hit him with a McDonald's joke and he's a shot her. Like, you know, like so you get what I mean with narrative. So like I don't wanna just I don't wanna just jump in and say some shit because I don't even know if I'm hearing the truth. And I've heard it from close people from close people on both sides, but it's contradictory. You get what I mean? So it is what it is. Uh but I do think uh, I, do I think Tori's career is done? Mm, nah, but it's not looking good. And I think the worst is yet to come. When Meg comes out, if, trust me, Rock Nation right now and Meg's manager is saying, Meg, I don't give a fuck if he was giving you the best dick of your life. You need to come out and play victim right now. You need to come out and just say, this motherfucker Tory, after we were having an argument, just pulled a Glock and shot me. And you need to cry. You need to go on Gail King. And you are going to drop a song and your shit's gonna go all the way up and we're gonna bury that nigga. Sacrifice that nigga, you know what I mean? That's what I, I would imagine management and like business people are on. I don't know what Meg is on. Also, like it's a weird thing with Meg because like I've never seen people so non-sympathetic for a woman. I think people be looking at Meg as like some fucking, like yo, they be looking at Meg like fucking Debo. Like y'all notice when Rihanna's like, oh man, like yo damn Chris, why you do that? Yo, with Meg, Everybody already accepted, like, the story that Meg was beating Tori's ass. Like, yo, like, Meg is Debo. You feel me? And, and like, and like Tori was the, 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 the little nigga who'd be like, yo, my mama gave me that chain, and he was getting his ass beat by, you know what I mean, big-ass Meg. That's what the story is, so nobody really feel bad for Meg. Yo, Meg has tweeted out five times before she explained what happened. She still explained what happened. Yo, I'm a victim. Stop clowning me. Yo, could y'all have some sympathy? I was shot. You know why people not really having sympathy? They looking at her as Debo. You feel me? They're looking at her like, yo, we know you was beating Tory's ass. Which, by the way, we don't know. But, like, you know, niggas is making their own shit up at this point. Be like, yo, you probably was, yo, you probably was holding his head. He was swaying like this. You know what I mean? He got mad. He ran back for the gun and just popped you. Fuck it. You get me? Yeah, Meg, somebody said Meg not respected like Rihanna. Maybe that too. I don't know. Somebody said Meg hella strong. Come on, bro. Yo, Tory pulled up on Travis Scott. By the way, when Kylie gonna speak on this? Kylie's, yo, let me tell you, yo, these bitches, they be on some shit, bro. And by the way, don't try, try to give me a positive to Kylie. I didn't call her a bitch. I just said these bitches, okay? Um, anyway, Kylie, ain't your baby daddy beefing with Tory? Tory pulled up on your baby daddy saying, nigga, are we... Are we catching a fade or apologizing? And Travis looked at him and looked around and said, my bad, bro. <laughs> he said in order, order to. You get me? One of those smoke. Tory was ready to shoot the fade. I know they probably, they, they claim they, they pieced it up, but that's your baby daddy's ops. Yo, yo, women, yo, I'm telling you, when a woman wants to send you a message, she'll be with your ops, bro. Like nothing ever happened. Ain't no way. Kylie's supposed to be in the fucking pool with Tory Lanez. Am I tripping? Why the fuck is she in the pool? Yo, that's that's that nigga Travis top op right now. Why the fuck is your baby mama hanging out with a nigga who tried to fight you and leak the video? Embarrassing you like you some bitch. Like, why is your baby mother hanging out with him? 
There's mad rappers. I know the Kardashians are rappers. There's mad rappers. Go find one. So that's a little bit weird to me. We will see, man. But I'm telling you, Kylie got away from that fuck shit when she, she probably saw them two lunatics was too drunk. Kylie's handlers probably took her in the crib like, yo, let's get away from these bum ass niggas. <laughs> Nigga, you know Kylie not near no fucking gunshot. <laughs> Nigga, Kylie worth a billion dollars. Yo, Kylie, yo, Kylie know who and where to hang out with and when to leave. Yo, who's that friend? One in the chat, if you got that one friend, they always stay at every function a little bit too fucking long. The club over. Them niggas still there, even the bounce is done dipped. That's, then all of a sudden you hear some shit happen. There's one motherfucker, he always stay there too long. Nigga, Kylie probably saw the right on the wall. Oh, these niggas drunk drunk. Oh. Oh, they talking crazy. Oh, they talking about shootouts. I gotta go home to Stormy. <laughs> Good luck, niggas. <laughs> Good luck. Kylie was probably in that pool sizing all them motherfuckers up. Wait, what makes that nigga go down? She on some hot girl shit. Huh? What, Tori say you're a shooter? All right, these niggas is tweaking. I'm back in the crib. Fuck them niggas, man. Kylie dipped out at the right, the right point, bro. Them niggas was tripping. This nigga, this nigga, this, this, this nigga, uh, Tory probably was in there on some quarantine radio shit. I shoot this whole shit up. Kylie probably, look, Kylie and her 20 handlers probably looked at her and be like, Shraggy? <laughs> Bitch, it's time to make some makeup. <laughs> yo, let's go make a makeup video right now, okay? What's that little Kylie makeup shit? Yo, let's go do that. Yo, leave these motherfuckers alone. These niggas is crazy. We out. How we know Kylie ain't shoot Meg? Oh. Let me go to my next thing. Oh my God. I love calling out people for the bullshit. And by the way, some of the people I call out on their bullshit, you know, we're cool. This organization I'm gonna call out, very cool. TMZ, y'all have to do a better job disguising that y'all are not on the Kardashian payroll. It's sickening. It's sickening. I've never seen. I wanna show y'all something, chat. Ever since Kanye came out and basically said Meek was prison reform in her guts, Kim K, he basically said that. That's what he thought, right? We don't know if it's true. I heard pictures, but... Yo, let me tell you this, man. This is, this is why it's so hard to be like a rap star. You know, women love to say, yo, yeah, you niggas cheat all the time, but, like, you can't handle when you get cheated back on. Yo, that's cool and everything, right? But you know when niggas cheat? You know what niggas do? We fuck every bitch. Yo, a nigga gonna find a bitch from North Dakota and Montana to fuck. They're fucking nobodies. Like, they're just fucking... Yo, yeah, they're fucking chicks, but they're fucking the randoms. <laughs> when a girl gonna cheat on you, she's fucking your top op. Nobody else. The top op is getting the pussy. The nigga, if you seen, you shooting at. He's fucking her. Women, I'm t yo, women is on some shit, bro. Like, put it like this. You know every chick be talking? Wow, we feeling bad for Will Smith. Will Smith been fucking chicks. So yes, he's been fucking all the fucking assistants on the movie sets. Nobody cares about them. Will Smith has fucked every little model with no name and made sure that they won't clout chase. He's protected Jada. The first nigga Jada fucked. The nigga drop a song called Entanglements and doing a fucking interview about it, bro. Come on, bro. Do y'all see what I'm talking about? These chicks know how to hurt you, bro. You see, us dudes, we just cheating for the pussy. That's facts. Okay, we just, all right, all right whatever. Like, just, oh, oh, she cute, right, whatever, whatever. Women, they calculating it. So how could I get back at this nigga? 
Well, he in the industry. I got to get an industry, nigga. <laughs> For real. <laughs> I'm telling you. So when you think about, when you think about Kim K, only in basketball, the wives of the basketball players fuck the trainer. <laughs> only in basketball. In rap, your baby mama or your wife or your girl is going to fuck the next hot rapper. You think NBA Youngboy baby mama was, was about to just chill back and just fuck with some local hood niggas? Fuck no. She been on a rapper spree. Why be no Mighty J? Who else? Fredo Bad. Like everybody. Like everybody. Like she just looked down the list of SoundCloud rappers. All right, I'm getting him, 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 him. Like, men are just trying to get it how they live it. When women do it, they're doing it to a level that they... They don't make Will Smith look like fucking Carlton. with a valet nigga this is how